Final Labs is a spin-off startup from Hong Kong U, where we spend decades of conducting research on AI technologies. In particular, we build machines to analyze human voices. And in the audios, our build machines to tell you how many different speakers are there in the audio, mm -hmm. who are they, and what time did they speak, what did they say, and what do they mean by saying that. And we combine these technologies to analyze audios for banks to tell them whether there are any regulatory risks in any of the bank's handling of customers' inquiries. Today, we were honored to invite one of our clients from Standard Charter Bank to join us for the sharing. Laurie, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Dr. Mao, for the invitation. So talk about Standard Chartered. With over 150 years of presence in Hong Kong, we can combine deep local knowledge together with our international suite of products and services to provide the best solution to our clients. Back in 2018, as the venture was set up, to act as a catalyst to promote innovation within the bank and serve as a platform for us to build new and disruptive banking model. We are the first batch of the banks to obtain the virtual banking license in Hong Kong. Some of the key achievements include real-time onboarding services for deposit and credit card, QR cash supporting cardless cash withdrawal using our mobile apps, and our virtual assistant Stacy that operates 24 times 7 that offers support to our clients. I think we can talk about the internal staff as well as the customers. So for the staff, like 10 years ago, a lot of processes are paper-based, are manual, rely on um, no digital images, or not that many um, strict through processing solutions. But when you look at now, everything can be instant, like account opening, credit card processing. Um, a lot of service requests, you're also processing real, real time. Uh, from the customer perspective, most of the customer may prefer Manta channel either by phone or go to branch like 10 years ago. But thanks to COVID, in a way, they also accelerated the customers adopt to the in internet or digital platform. So many of the customers are actually using our digital banking, online banking to do transactions and inquiries. Oh, that's great. I still remember back in the days, you know, 10 years ago I was still in school. I, I think I still went to branches a lot. But thinking about right now, I think it's been quite some time since last time I was in any branches at home and everything was done on my mobile phone. And that's convenient enough, and that's fast enough. I really echo that. Recently I talked to a university student. Basically, they expect all the banking services to be hap happen on the mobile phone as well. Exactly. Technologies, I believe, will become an integral part of future banking services. In the future, whether it's like banks adopting technologies, so, such as FinTech, or technology firms entering financial services, as TechFin, I think the lines will be blurred in the future. We are also seeing in the past decades, there is a huge increase in the usage of digital banking, contactless payment options, and the use of fintech to develop real-time onboarding and transacting solutions. On the other hand, this has also changed the way that how financial institutions are regulated, and hence, it calls for the demand for red tech to actually help us to fulfill these requirements. Two years ago, HKMA launched a two-year RegTech adoption roadmap to guide the industry how to adopt technologies for regulatory compliance purposes. At the same time, HKMA also launched a series of initiatives to adapt technologies for supervisory tasks, something called SupTech. This gives the industry a lot of confidence to adopt technologies because the regulator is leading the way. Thanks to the market's general embracing of the technologies, we managed to grow from serving only one client in the banking industry to over 20 international banks, plus six regulatory bodies within a two years period. Hong Kong is a very appealing business destination for a lot of fintech startups, for its vibrant ecosystem, with established infrastructure, business and market sophistication, the presence of a lot of institutions to support innovative activities, and more importantly, the access to a lot of fintech and banking professional talents. Talking about talents, Hong Kong is a great place to attract scientific talents as well. As an AI company, we thrive on two things, scientific talents to build us top algorithms and data. Hong Kong supplies us with both. Mm -hmm. On the talent side, we have top-notch universities such as Hong Kong U, CUHK, HKUSD, and a few others, with top scholars. At the same time, when we build technologies for, for languages, we need data of different languages. Hong Kong as an international hub, it's easier for us to find people speaking different languages. ScienceSpark has been our greatest supporter and greatest mentor over the past few years. 
Since our foundation in 2015, Science Park has given us the space, the funding, and also the guidance, plus the network, to help us make sure that we are turning our research ideas into a commercially successful product. No. As a matter of fact, we believe that AIs and humans will work hand in hand in the future. By the way, machines are really good. AIs are really good for handling routine you know, tasks, like things that happen over and over again, because we can train them with enough data. But the world is dynamic. Different things will cap could happen. And that's where we need the humans to get involved, sit behind the steering wheel, and get involved and interfere whenever needed.